Hi everyone, Stephen here at Teach Me Music, and today we're going to be talking about bass cases and the reason why you need to know the different types and whether you prefer a soft case or a hard case and why you might pick one over the other. So you might notice I don't have a bass in front of me and that's because we're not playing bass today, we're actually going to be talking, obviously, about the bass cases. So it's a nice little thing that you need to learn and we're just going to get through it. Really, really simple stuff. You can make your own decision and then that way your instrument of choice, the bass guitar, is all nice and safe from the weather, from the climate, from literally a million different things that might break it or damage it. So without a bass case, you're walking around taking the bass to wherever you've got to go. A gig, a friend's house. Literally walking outside the house with a bass without a case is never a good thing because you might drop it, you've got to hold it in both hands, it's going to be really weird, like who carries a bass like this, right? You want to put it either on your back or you want to put it in your hand and just have it by your side. Really, really simple stuff. So if you're going on public transport, on a bus, on a train, kiss goodbye to your instrument because you're probably going to whack it off a window, off a door, off another person. You're going to start a fight. No one wants to do this right. So get a bass case, whether it's a soft case or a hard case. So I'm going to show you the different types, explain why you might want one over the other, and the first one we're going to talk about is a soft case. So let's have a look. This right here is an Ibanez soft case. It's the right dimensions for a bass guitar, but because it's a soft case, it's not going to give it a lot of protection. It's going to protect it from the wind, from the rain, from the snow, from the weather, basically. But if you whacked this off a wall, or if you dropped it, or if you whacked it off a window, or someone accidentally stepped on it, it's not going to give it a lot of protection because it's soft. It bends, it's very like flexible, it's durable to a certain extent, but obviously not bulletproof. The advantage to having a soft case though is it has straps. So you can put these on your back, over your shoulder, carry it around if you've got a backpack or if you've got other stuff in your hands. Really, really nice and portable, really, really easy to carry around. It's epic. But you may have noticed that this bit right here, this is quite long. So obviously if you're quite short or you've got this really high up your back, this could whack off the top of a door frame, could whack off the ceiling if you're obviously tall enough. So you've got to be careful, mind your surroundings, make sure that you're not kind of just walking around like pretty much oblivious to what's around you. So soft cases, really cool for nice like transport, nice and portable, but in terms of being durable, you're probably going to damage your instrument eventually. And the one thing that will happen if I open the case, so most soft cases don't have a strap to hold the instrument. Some do, but most of them don't which means your bass is going to rattle around and move around inside the case itself, which means your tuning pegs might get a little bit knocked. Your bass is going to be out of tune when you take it out of the case, which means you've got to be aware of this stuff. You're going to have to tune your bass guitar a lot more than if it was in a hard case that's actually molded. And I'm going to show you what a molded hard case looks like now. So soft case, really portable, but not as durable as a hard case. They are cheaper though, which is why some people do use them. So this was a soft case, now let's look at a hard case. So this is an Ibanez hard case, and this is also a molded hard case. So what's the difference? Well, a hard case is hard. If you drop this, if you stepped on it, if you accidentally whacked it off a wall, you're gonna do more damage to the wall or the person. Don't whack this off a person if you can but you're gonna do more damage to them rather than the instrument, and that's a good thing. And the reason for that is because obviously it's got a lot more protection, it's a lot more sturdier. Some of them are made of plastic, some of them are made of wood, and basically it's got this kind of covering over it to protect it from the weather as well. So really, really durable, but you may notice it's pretty big and it's pretty like hefty. So the idea is that this isn't as portable as a soft case, but, it's going to protect your instrument more, hence why a lot of professionals and a lot of people that travel with their instruments, either on train or plane or car, they're going to use a hard case of some variety 
because it's just better for the long term. So obviously have a think about what's gonna be better for you and then obviously make your decision based off the cost, based off whether you're traveling with it or based off whether you want it to be very portable. So let's have a look at what it's called a molded hard case. It's called a molded hard case because the actual interior is, as you can see, molded to the shape of the base. So this is molded to an Ibanez base, which is the one that I'm playing in every other video that you've seen or every other video you will watch so far. And this fits perfectly. It's super snug. The base is not gonna move at all, which means when I take it out of the case, it's still gonna be perfectly in tune. There's gonna be no weird scratches, no weird dents. And it's because the base does not move. And this is super hard material. And obviously it's been cut to the right dimensions and the right shape for the base. So if you're gonna get a molded hard case, make sure your instrument fits. Otherwise what's gonna happen is you're gonna try and get your instrument in. It's not gonna fit. You're gonna get really frustrated. You're gonna get really annoyed because these things are a little bit more expensive. So just make sure you're actually measuring the dimensions and just make sure that it's actually molded for the base that you have. Really, really dead simple, right? So this is an Ibanez molded hard case. This one isn't made of plastic. I'm gonna show you a plastic hard case now. It looks very different on the outside, but on the inside, it looks exactly the same because it's a molded hard case. So this is an Ibanez molded hard case, but it's made of plastic instead. Obviously it's reinforced, so it's really, really durable, really sturdy. It's basically the same as the other hard case you saw. It just looks a little bit different on the outside. This looks a little bit shorter, and because this is made for a short scale bass or a guitar. So obviously the size of this is completely different to the one that you saw, because once again, it's molded and measured to the right dimensions to the instrument that fits inside it. So let's have a look inside, and this one is pretty cool. Check this out. nice and blue so you can get obviously different colors different molds and you can also get storage compartments for your jack leads for your accessories which means that although this is still pretty big and not as portable as the soft case you can actually get other stuff inside it which means you don't have to carry a backpack it means you can hold this almost like a briefcase in one hand and that way when you stand it up when you're on public transport you're not gonna kill anyone which is a winner. So this obviously is a little bit more expensive than the soft case because once again, it's a hard case. You just need to decide what's best for you. So just to recap, soft cases are really, really portable, but they're not very durable. The base might go out of tune, might break, and if you whack it off something, there's not a lot of protection. Hard cases are really, really durable, but not as portable. You could run over this, you could jump on top of it, someone could kick it, you could whack it off a wall, you could drop it down the stairs. All that's gonna happen is the outer material and the outer case maybe might get dented, but the interior, which is the most important part, is gonna be perfect because it's molded and because it's reinforced. So your instrument won't get scratched and won't break unless you dropped it off a skyscraper or a building. But let's be honest, who is gonna do that? And if you are doing that, you should not be playing bass guitar because that's crazy. So just make your mind up to which one is easier, which one is better, and then that way your bass is protected and when you're out and about, your pride and joy is not gonna get damaged. So hopefully you found all this stuff useful. Go check out some soft cases and hard cases and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next video.